Hello YouTube world. Hope you're staying safe and well out there. Today I thought I'd talk about lighting. I've had this little Yuko Micro tea tree light for quite a number of years now. I don't believe they make this version anymore. It's great if I take it camping or whatever. Packs down to nothing. And it's got a little chain on it so you can kind of hang it up obviously when it's open and let it doesn't give off a lot of light but I do like the way you can get like a real flame so I thought I'd upgrade for not so much going lightweight camping but for car camping or even for doing stuff in the back garden maybe having parties or just generally you want to create a nice ambience outside if you're lucky enough to have a garden i was looking at these yuko lights and they do the other version with the i believe it's nine hour candles and they range between like 25 and 40 pound depending on which model i thought it was a bit overpriced really for what it is so i set myself a budget between 25 and 40 pounds to see what alternatives i could come up with to give me some nice light I also wanted something to be a bit cool, to look nice, and it's also got to last a very long time. I buy various bits of stuff, and I just don't like to buy that cheap, throwaway, plasticky crap, for the want of a better word. It's just landfill. So if I buy something, I tend to hold on to it and look after it, until eventually, obviously, it wears out, or it gets lost or broken. And in which case I try and recycle as much as possible. So what have I come up with? This is what I've come up with. Fjord Hand Baby 276 Hurricane Lamp. Made in Germany. Runs on paraffin. Or lamp oil. And it's well constructed. And it should last me a lifetime, providing I look after it properly. Let's get out the box and have a look. Once you open the box, it's in the bag. When I saw this, I thought, oh, super cool. It's beautifully made. Olive green, just because I like the colour. I didn't want it to stand out too much. I quite like the earthiness of it. And basically, all it is, this container, put your fuel in, there's a wick inside, a glass globe, and your protective housing. Just about nothing can go wrong. Cold air gets sucked down there. And gets pushed back up to oxygenate the flame to keep it going and I thought this was super cool if you look at the comparison in size it's just no competition really is there <laughs> I like this so much I got a bit carried away and I bought this this is a Chowin Far East Hurricane Lamp Made in England. Got this from an army surplus store. It's brand new old stock, never been used. I just thought that was super cool as well. So now I've got kind of two hurricane lamps. I hope this isn't gonna turn into another addiction like stoves, because I've got nowhere to put anything. <laughs> this is amazing. They do in one color, galvanized, silver tin plate whatever you want to call it look at that I was amazed that you can still buy stuff like this obviously it's mint condition never been used I was absolutely thrilled to bits with it it's got some dust on there obviously it's a bit dirty it's been in storage for I don't know how long I've been trying to do a bit of history on these and um, I believe that the last ones of these were made in South Africa in 1970 
prior to that, I believe they was made in the UK. Uh, if anybody knows any history about these, about these old lamps, Chalwin, feel free to put some notes in the comments and we can all share. For me, as far as outside lighting goes, I've got a proper flame and it's safe. It's not going to blow out in the wind. I'm so looking forward to firing these bad boys up. The only thing with these is, remember, it's liquid fuel. It's very volatile. That goes inside. If you knock them over, if you drop them, the fuel is going to ignite and go everywhere. It's going to be a horrible mess. So be careful. I've never actually used one of these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this glass. I'm going to fill these bad boys up, take them outside and set fire to them. So there you have it, cost wise, this boy here cost me £25, this little boy here cost me £27, so for the price of a new larger Yuko candle lantern, you can have one of these bad boys that would last for a really long time and they're super cool. If you want to see these at night, I'll show you that in another video. What do you think of Hurricane Lanterns? Are they worth buying? Have you got one? Have you got good experiences with them? Feel free to leave comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.